on the vein. So when you played a lot of ball and you had a lot of experiences, you get a chance to go ahead and draw back on those experiences. Um, are they are they him? No, that they, they are leading in their own way. You know what I mean? Travis was awesome. Uh, we had a lot of fun, but those guys are stepping up and they're doing, they're doing a heck of a job. One of the areas that out to Marshawn and as he entered the portal, what was it that you felt that he brought to the room that maybe wasn't there after Travis left? Um. I wouldn't say anything about that wasn't there after Travis left. Um, I just think that we saw a good player, a great opportunity, um, an explosive player, uh, very versatile, great ball skills, can block, um, tough. I mean, he's he's got a chance to do some very, very special things here at USC. He truly does. Travis's ability to pass block was one of the unique parts of his skill set that made him an important part of the offense on third down. Who right now stands out as a pass protector? Oh, I got a number of guys that can, that can step and fill in those blocks you know Darwin's taking steps Austin Jones has been very very consistent in practice Marshawn uh, th those guys can all be able to fit the bill if they need to go ahead and put their face on somebody so all three of those guys are stepping up and even the young guys uh, Marion Peterson is a big physical young guy that can absolutely can block so he's, he does a lot of good things Last year, I felt like Travis sort of like the guy in a sense. Like obviously, other guys couldn't touch as well, but it seemed like he was getting the vast majority. You just be having one featured back again, so to speak. Could you just be using more of a committing approach with guys like Austin and Marshawn Lloyd and Willie Brown? I have no idea. We'll see. You know, um, uh, throughout the years, I've had a, a main dog, I, whether it was here or the previous place. But if you got two good guys, use them. If you got three good guys, use them. Uh, we're going to put the best guy, combination of guys on the field, and whatever it takes to win, that's what we're going to do. Just, what more, just more on the young guys, how Quentin and Marion look so far. They're coming along. You know, like young guys, they have some bus here and there, but I, I see explosive plays. I see okay. physical uh, plays out of that group. Those two young guys are going to be very good players here at USC. Very good players. In what ways has really grown in his second year in the offense? Relief is just his package. You know, he's getting moved all the way around in the offense. So he's, he has to know a little bit more in the offense. But Relief's going to be a very, very dynamic player for us. And he's going to make a lot of plays. Lincoln was talking about the mental challenges for Relief in terms of all the different assignments and responsibilities he has. Like what type of additional work does that require? Just study. You know, this, this is like a class. No, football is like class. You come, you have meetings, you have to study afterwards. You got to make sure that you produce when you scrimmage. You know that's kind of the quiz, and then you got to get ready for the test on game days. You know, so you got to treat this like a class. So there's a lot that goes into it. Whether you're meeting with coaches on extra time, uh, meeting with other players that already played a position, like you got to go above and beyond the call of duty uh, to make sure that you're ready to go ahead and execute. He's doing that. He is. Uh, that we've got a chance to be pretty good. I do. I think we got a number of running backs that can go ahead and, and be physical. You know, we had a short yardage monster in Travis Die on third down, and somebody's going to have to step up and fill that role. And I think that we got a number of guys that can do it. How have you felt so far about the way that the backs are catching out of the backfield? Really good. Um, these guys have a great set of hands. Um, every one of them, every last one of them can catch, which is great. Um, it's going to only make us more versatile at the end of the day, but uh, there's not a guy in that room that you just say, oh man, he struggles catching the football. Obviously, you know, you lost three starting offensive linemen from last year, so you're looking at some new guys, but young guys that have the portal. Is that going to challenge the backs at all, just having different guys blocking for them than last year? Whoever's there, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? They have their own job to do. The reeds are the reeds. Um, they got to break tackles and stuff like that. Whoever the five guys in front of us are, we're going to be the five guys we run with. You know, Austin got a lot of experience last year in this offense. Obviously, brought in two freshmen plus Marshawn. What's kind of been the message to him coming into the, this role? Compete. That's, that's what this program has been built on, competing. Like, I, I think it's almost like a lost art. You know, a lot of guys always hopping in the portal and running and, and just show up and, and do what you do, play your best ball, and you'll be fine. But at the end of the day, we're going to continue to recruit the best players in the country here. This is USC, and uh, that's just the nature of the beast. Do one more. Do you find yourself recruiting guys to a one- or two-year plan? Or do they still want to know about a three or four year plan? Like when you're recruiting, 
how has that all changed, if it's if at all? Yeah. So the biggest thing is, is that they got to think about their academics, their education. They need to get a degree. You know what I mean? Before they even think about a three-year, two-year plan. You know what I mean? Some special guys um, might be on that track, but at the end of the day, you're you're thinking about four years. You know what I mean? Maybe five years, whatever it takes for you to get your degree. You know? Now, if you're lucky enough and you're blessed enough to go ahead and get out of here early and the league calls your name, hey, awesome. But besides that, we want to make sure our guys graduate here at USC. Thank you, Coach.